Hi, welcome back. I'm Carmen, aka Parisian Chic, and today we're going to be doing a full body circuit. And for the circuit, we're gonna switch it up a little. We're gonna have some power movements. We're gonna have some lower body stability movements. We're gonna have some core engagement stability movements. It's gonna be an overall good time. All you're gonna need for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells and a mat. So before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get to it. So we're gonna start with a dumbbell snatch. So this is the power explosive movement. Standing with your feet about shoulders width apart, you're gonna have the dumbbell between your feet. Hinge at your hips and squat down to reach the dumbbell between your feet, grabbing it overhand. And then in a powerful explosive movement, push through your heels, exploding through your legs. And at the same time, you're gonna externally rotate that shoulder, bringing that dumbbell over your shoulder to push straight up towards the sky. Our next movement is going to be a goblet dumbbell wall sit. So holding our dumbbell in a goblet position, which is gonna be directly under our chin, we're going to sit in a wall sit position where our back is going to be flat against the wall. Again, making sure there's no arch in our back and no space between our hips and the wall. And sitting down to the point that our knees are at a 90 degree angle, making sure our core is engaged. Again, our chest is up, we're not slouching forward. Holding that dumbbell nice and solid, you're gonna hold for as long as you can. The goal is to hit 60 seconds, but it's okay if you don't make it. If you need to stop and take a break, take a pause and jump right back into it. Our next exercise is gonna be renegade rows. You're gonna be in a plank position, holding your dumbbell directly under each shoulder. Again, making sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders and holding the dumbbells overhand. And then you're going to alternate with a strong row on either side, maintaining your plank position, keeping your core engaged and nice and tight. The modified option is to maintain your plank position, but only rowing with the dumbbell in one hand. That way your other hand can stay nice and solid on the ground, supporting you through your motion. Our next exercise is going to be a floor chest press. So laying on our backs on the ground with our knees angled, our starting position dumbbell is gonna be parallel to the chest. We're gonna push straight up towards the sky in nice controlled motion back down to the ground. And we're gonna repeat that over and over again through the duration of the interval. Our next exercise is gonna be our plank toe touches. And this one might be my favorite. So you're gonna start in your standing plank position. Again, making sure our wrists are in line with our shoulders and our shoulders are in line with our tailbone and core is nice and engaged. You're gonna reach your opposite hand towards your opposite ankle and then you're gonna switch back and forth. Now this sounds like a very simple exercise, but it's so effective and that's why it's probably my favorite one. Our final exercise of the circuit is gonna be marching glute bridges. We're gonna start laying flat on our backs on the ground with our legs bent. Engaging our glutes, we're gonna lift our hips up off the ground, keeping our core nice and tight and engaged. We're gonna alternate lifting each leg off the ground in a marching position, driving that knee towards our chest in a nice controlled motion back and forth. If you're gonna repeat another set of this circuit, make sure you take one minute's rest and then start again back up at the top. If this is where your workout ends, thank you so much for joining. And again, make sure you like and subscribe. 